uh, 39 years old, uh, obviously not so good with computers, but good with people. And that's what matters in Herbalife. And um, let me just uh, give you a brief introduction. So I love my job as a teacher and uh, seven years working there uh, started when I was 24 and um, earning 700 euros a month. I found myself being 30 years old, living with my parents because I couldn't afford to buy an apartment. And um, the troubling thing is that I didn't even see that uh, anything was wrong with that situation because my friends um, did the same thing. They lived with their parents, worked for a paycheck, and we didn't really have many options because you cannot afford to buy an apartment on that kind of money. So when um, Herbalife found me, um, in one year doing Herbalife part-time, I got to 2,000 euros uh, part-time, and this gave me the, the freedom to uh, quit my teaching job. And um, in two years, I got to get team member, and uh, this was uh, over 3,000 euros a month. And uh, I really started um, enjoying my life, uh, traveling, meeting positive people, learning, developing skills. And um, I'm very grateful for the freedom of choice that I got in Herbalife. That's maybe the most important thing. Uh, now I'm uh, get 2.5K. And I have four downline Get team members. I'm very, very proud of them because duplication is the magic in our business. This is what gives us the freedom and the passive, the passive income. And I'm now earning 10 times more than I used to at my teaching job. And that's unbelievable. This gives me really the opportunity to not worry about money, just uh, think about how I want to spend my days and with whom and how I want to develop as a person and of course develop my business. Uh, I have been a top volume producer in Croatia for six years and uh, for several years top volume producer of the region and um, qualified for all the vacations, all the VIP treatments, um, everything because um, in all my life I've always given it my best whatever I was doing but it never it never paid off until Herbalife. In Herbalife, when you give your best and when you give it your all, you really, really are appreciated and you really get the rewards and you really get the lifestyle and you get the recognition. So this is why I love this company. And um, starting from the very, very beginning, uh, in my first picture, I was 22 years old and now I'm 39. And um, you probably think that in the first picture I didn't work out at all and uh, that would be wrong. Three years going to the gym three times a week and uh, spending a couple of hours in the gym and I really didn't see any results and I didn't feel well because I didn't know anything about nutrition. So I am very happy to say that with the less effort and less training I get better results and I only work out, um, I do home workouts always a couple of times a week uh, watching youtube videos so nothing complicated and really 90 percent of my result is nutrition and uh well every winner was once a begin beginner right so this was me 10 years ago uh this was my teaching job and one of my students they took this picture and um i really didn't have many options um while I was uh, following the system. You know, uh, the system says you have to be uh, a good student. And uh, I was an A student in elementary school, A student in high school, A student uh, in college, and I really gave it my all. And um, it really disappointed me when I got to um, do the job that I was studying for, that I didn't have any opportunities to live um, a good life that I always had to struggle with money and save uh, money and uh, really couldn't afford anything that was, you know, something for me. And um, meanwhile, so I wasn't very happy with the level of income at my job, but I didn't see any, any options. And uh, these are my parents and uh, they're entrepreneurs and they have been for 30 years. We had um, a little shop in our house uh, selling food. So 
watching them struggle and try to survive in the marketplace because big shopping centers were being opened all the time. And I was watching them work from seven in the morning to 10 in the evening sometimes. And I didn't want that either. And when somebody tells me I don't want to do Herbalife because I don't want to sell uh, food, uh, well, me neither. You know, if I wanted to sell food, I could uh, inherit the family business and sell food from uh, my house. But um, I want, I like working with people and I like uh, developing uh, my own potential and seeing potential in others and uh, developing their potential. And that's what Herbalife is to me. So it's not selling stuff. It is really changing people's lives because the opportunity that I got helped me uh, impact so many lives of people who gave me their trust to become my customer and then later my business partner and then later my close friend associate and uh, so on so um this is my mom um my whole life she was 30 kilos overweight and um this is uh, in the first picture she's 44 years old uh in the last picture she's almost 60 so yes, this uh, food, uh, this nutrition really works wonders if you use it properly and if you use it long term. So I'm very happy with the nutrition, but I actually fell in love with the business opportunity because it gave me a chance to go from an ordinary person who didn't think she could do much in life to a person who could develop all her potentials and there are really no limits to how far we can go. Uh, this is just a part of the lifestyle because I didn't think in life that I would uh, want to be uh, to ride in limos and to be photographed and to be taken to gala dinners. And um, before Herbalife, I never traveled because my parents worked all the time. And in 30 years of their entrepreneurial adventure, uh, they never ever went on a holiday. So my brother and I, of course, didn't even have the experience of going on a family holiday. So I actually thought I didn't like to travel. And when Herbalife first sent me to a pay vacation to Brioni, I actually didn't want to go because I didn't have the habit of going on. Uh, it was all new and it was like, oh, it's easier to stay at home. I need to work. I'm very busy. And I, I, I seriously didn't want to go. So uh, when I went, that, uh, I went more because I wanted to show my team what's possible. But then I fell in love, of, co of course, with Brioni, with the island. And I fell in love with um, the company there because uh, the way we were treated and the people that I met from the whole region and the friendships that I made. And uh, I actually enjoyed um, uh, the whole experience. And I didn't mind uh, then the packing and the travel. And um, I fell in love with the lifestyle. And after that trip, I promised myself I would never ever miss another company vacation because when I go nine years back, the only thing that I remember is the experiences, the travels, the friendships, the, the, um, the emotions that I felt. And all that changed me. It changed the way I think about life and myself and what I want. And uh, having the opportunity to spend time with people who are very successful, but also very humble and ready to share their experiences, this is priceless. Uh, I, I'm sure you all know Quentin, or, or if you don't, you can follow him on Instagram or Facebook, uh, Samantha Clayton. Uh, these are people who, where would I meet them? and be able to spend time with them working in a high school teaching English to students. And mind you, my uh, students weren't delighted with uh, uh, <laughs> learning English. So it was always a struggle because I wanted to teach them something and they didn't want to learn and it was stressful. And here I have the opportunity to share information and ideas with people who actually want to learn and want to implement the things I say. So uh, I wanted a, a, a no stress or st stress-free job. So this is what I got in Herbalife. Although it's not a job, it's a, it's a, a career. It's a lifestyle opportunity. Uh, the parties are crazy. These are the things that you remember in the end. 
And why this picture? Uh, this um, Herbalife 24 branded car was a gift from Herbalife. And there's a story that goes with it because um, when this promotion was announced for the most stably built business, uh, there were 600 or 700 people in that room. But when I saw the promotion, and I love cars, I know some, uh, most girls like uh, high heels and shoes, I love cars. And when I saw this promotion, I said to myself with certainty, with no doubt, I said, this car will be mine. I was 100% sure. And I didn't even understand the promotion because, uh, you know, uh, when, you, when you're good at languages, you're not so good at maths and physics and those. So I don't really understand numbers very well. And I didn't understand the promotion at all, but I saw it and I decided that it would be mine. And I won it two times that year and I drove it for six months and I was so proud uh, showing it off in my city and uh, representing the, the brand. And uh, these two cars I bought uh, just because I love cars. And uh, the, the point is that you can buy things without um, getting loans. You can buy things cash because I was raised that, that you shouldn't buy things that you can't afford in cash because then obviously you can't afford them. Of course, there are some exceptions, but basically I see too many people living in debt and worrying about owing money to other people and maybe being in debt because of things they don't even need. So this was something that I treated myself to just because I earned it and just because I had the extra money. And this is like a personal challenge. Um, I do have uh, goals like this because, uh, not because I'm unhappy if I don't drive a, a Range Rover. I'm not unhappy. I'm very happy, very grateful with everything I have now, but I wanna buy this car with one month payment that means that I would have to be a press team to do that so this is like a personal challenge and I will treat myself to this car uh, when I can afford it with uh, one check and uh, that's just something that I promised to myself and uh, these are my mentors and I'm very proud of them because when people look at me now when people look at them now um, you you see what you see but you don't see what we went through and these are not the people that build the business these are the people that build the business these are the same people nine years ago this is my first sts um this guy on the far left quit this was like his first and last event ever and these are my mentors they were they were world no team three years in the business and ready to quit and uh, their mentors, Daura and Marina, were active world team and Marina didn't even speak Croatian and nobody understood her. So, and I was so confused. I didn't even know wh where I came and why I came. And uh, I had, and this is what drives me, I had fear of missing out. I don't know if you, if you understand, but I'm always driven by fear of missing an opportunity because I don't want to live uh, with the pain of regret. So when my mentors invited me, uh, I went because I didn't want to miss out. I wanted to check it out. And now we are beautiful, we are successful, we are free, and we're living the lifestyle, but we have paid the price. And everyone in this picture is a uh, tab team and um, living a very, very uh, beautiful life because we gave ourselves the opportunity to grow through Herbalife, through this opportunity. So what I wanted to share with you today is that uh, every successful person has made decisions that other, per other people have not had the strength to make. And uh, this is the base for everything. And the first decision is to stay when others quit. And I will sh share this this is my uh, supervisor promotion. And all the people in the picture were very excited because they were new supervisors and they've seen an opportunity for themselves. And no one from this picture is still in the business except for the special guest um, who is uh, in the middle. So they all quit. I'm the only one that stayed. And I was, they were happier than me. I was pretty confused. Three months in the business, supervisor, I didn't know what was going on. So don't quit. 
stay and see what you can make out of your life with this opportunity. The second um, tip I would give you, trust your mentor, follow the simple instructions. Because at the time when I joined Herbalife, I had more money than my mentors. They weren't um, a, a, an image of success at the time, but I trusted them. They were three years longer than me in the business. So I put aside my ego. And although I was making more money, uh, not in Herbalife, but in, uh, in my job, plus um, I, all, all, I did English instructions in my free time. And um, at the time, I followed their instructions because they knew better what to do in Herbalife. I trusted them. And uh, the number one reason why people fail is because they don't follow the simple instructions. They don't know what to do because they're brand new. They think they know what to do and they don't follow instructions from people who know what to do. So make your life easier and your mentor wants you to be rich. Follow the simple instructions and you will win. Um, this is my first LDW, five months in the business. I'm a brand new supervisor and these are my three supervisors, brand new. We don't know what's going on. Um, they were given a plan to become a supervisor as a team. Um, and uh, they are... Um, ABC uh, combination. And uh, we just went because uh, it sounded really fun to go on a trip. That's why we went because split uh, sounded great. I've never been and uh, let's check it out. I was not serious um, at all. And the way I thought of Herbalife was, well, I like my work in school and let them three do the business and I'll get some passive income. That was how I saw Herbalife at the time. And we got to the LDW and Stefan Graziani was a guest speaker. And I don't know what happened to me, but uh, it was a leadership training. It was very powerful. And um, I didn't come back the same after that weekend. After that weekend, I thought I was ready to conquer the world. I uh, had 50 new customers that month, still part-time, and I have no idea how. I was so excited and I had a vision that I could be a leader. And just three days prior, I was totally hobby committed and thought these three were gonna do the business and I'm just here for fun. So never miss an event because you don't know which one is going to change the direction of your life because every event was crucial for me. Everyone uh, has made me uh, make a new decision that uh, drove my life in a, in a completely other uh, new direction. Why this picture? Uh, these three people are supervisors. And uh, I'm a brand new supervisor. And I think Ines was world team at the time. And um, I was always asking questions. I was the person who would drive you nuts with questions because I was interested. And this was a party after a business academy we had. And I remember asking Ines, Ines, how do I become an active supervisor? How do I become active? I didn't even know what that meant. But she told me one simple thing. She, she told me, well, you sell 1,000 uh, 1, volume points and you do the rest through members, working with members. And I I said okay I was the guy who was always the girl who always said okay and I did it um, I don't really need to have all the information uh, I just learned through action so there's no procrastination in, in my part I will maybe make more mistakes but I learn through actions and I start immediately so next month um, I decided to do uh, 2,500 and that was, I think, the only time I did 2,500 because in these nine years, when they told me that when you do 2,500, that's the minimum, that's like giving yourself the minimum wage. I didn't like that. If I, if I entered Herbalife to be uh, above average, why would I give myself minimum wage? So uh, that, that was the first time I did 2,500. And after that, I always did more uh, because if you're your own boss, why limit yourself? So 
um, there were obstacles, of course. Um, I, I'm sure you wouldn't think, first of all, I'm an introvert. And I'm sure you, you can't tell I'm an introvert because there are nine years of personal development and speaking and working with people. But my original idea was, okay, I'm going to study English because I like English, but I don't want to work with people. So give me dictionaries and books and put me in a room with books and I don't want to see anyone and that's going to be great. And then I ended up in a high school and that was a nightmare in the beginning. And then after three years, everyone was saying, oh, Ivana, you're such a great teacher. You were born to be a teacher, right? And uh, when I started Herbalife, I had like, um, I had a boyfriend and three best friends. And I really didn't want to talk to anyone else. I was good. And then when I saw the opportunity, okay, I needed to become social again, urgently. So if you have big dreams and big goals, even if you're an introvert like me and like Eric Worre, for example, uh, you can do great things because you can overcome your fears. I didn't want to um, uh, tell my product story in the beginning. I was embarrassed. I didn't want to um, be a speaker at events because it was something new and I didn't feel that I was very good at it. And for six months, I didn't want to do it. I was already a supervisor. And then I realized or someone said at a training that um, whatever you're afraid to do is standing in your, in your way of progress. So I decided, I decided again, decision is everything. I decided to do everything I was afraid to do. So there was always a question in my mind, what am I afraid to do? And as I've already said, I hate numbers. So I really didn't want to uh, do the marketing plan part at the events. So when they asked who's going to do the marketing plan, my, my hand went up, I'm going to do it. And I was scared. But I learned it and I got good at it. And because of that, I was, I was being able to promote the business opportunity better because I don't like the feeling of fear. I hate it. And I would rather do the thing that scares me to get rid of it than live in fear. So whatever scares you and you don't want to do it, that's what you should do if you want to grow. Um, why this picture? When I did 2,500 for the first time, they told me, so they didn't ask me, they told me, Ivana, you're going to be the MC at the quick start today. I was like, oh, you know that feeling when you think that the event is always the same and it's boring because it's always the same. At that very minute, when they told me that I was going to be the MC, it seemed that I have never been at an event and I have no idea what an MC is, is supposed to say. Like it was, um, and I, 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 was, I was really scared. And uh, I said yes, because at one of the trainings, I heard you have to say yes and then figure out how you're going to do it. And I always said yes. And um, I went uh, quickly and bought some clothes because I didn't have any fancy clothes. I was sporty. I had a thousand trainers, but uh, I didn't have high heels and I didn't have suits and none of that. So I went and I bought a suit and uh, I prepared. And uh, Milan was the special guest at that event. He was a guest team member then. I was, um, well, first time um, becoming active supervisor. And he said, if you want to go further in this business, you have to be a speaker at every event, every, uh, every month, you have to be a speaker at this kind of event. And I really took the tips uh, that uh, people gave me, literally, whatever they said, I did no matter if they, if it scared me or not. So from then on, every quick start, I was doing something. I was doing the products, I was the MC, I was doing the marketing plan, whatever scared me the most, that time I would volunteer to do it. And uh, that year I got to Active World Team and it wasn't, um, well, every event was important. Why this picture? It was a quick start in my town. And uh, I was a supervisor and this is Valentino. He is my first business partner and my first guest at my first event. And he became a supervisor. And there was our special guest because our mentors, uh, Marina and Dower were third cut get team then. And um, it was supervisor training. And she asked 
um, she said, can uh, a, a brand new supervisor raise, raise their hand? And Mia Valentino raised, raised our hand. And she said, do you know, and it was June, it was June at the time. She said, do you know that by the end of this year, you can be active world team? And I didn't, I, I think it was the first time I even heard of active world team. And uh, I didn't know what she was talking about, but I trusted her. And I thought to myself, is this, if this woman who is so powerful, long time in the business, so successful, says that I can be active world team by the end of the year, then it must be true. And I was an active world team by the end of the year, but uh, uh, till February next year, I was, and Valentino was. So if you believe it, I had no idea how I was going to do it. I uh, had people at events. This is the only thing that I did right. Maybe I did everything else wrong, but I had a minimum of 10 guests at every event. And then you can be an active world team in one year, part-time. And this uh, Herbalife was the third uh, thing I was doing. So I was still in school and I was still doing English um, lessons uh, privately. And I did Herbalife part-time, but I had people at events and then anything is possible. So I trusted there and I had blind faith although I didn't understand how it was going to happen. And I had the burning desire because I was excited and I believed. And um, the attitude that you will try until, try until you make it, because what have you got to lose? What, what is the alternative? If you don't make it in Herbalife, what else are you going to do that gives you the freedom and the, and the lifestyle? And these girls, a lot of potential, huh, in this picture. Um, the first girl is 17 years old and uh, the others are 18. Me and a bunch of kids. This was my first active world team line. And um, the ones that stayed are now get team and uh, very successful. And um, see the girl with the glasses? She would have been get team if she had not quit because she's the sponsor of Nora Shahini who is now get team. And this girl, you know, she had the, a wonderful organization, um, but she quit. So believe in yourself, believe in your team, because these girls who quit, they didn't believe in themselves. They didn't believe in these three girls who were just starting, who were shy, who didn't have any skills. And um, if you have even one member in your downline, never, ever quit. And what have you got to quit anyways? There's nothing to quit. You're going to eat your whole life. So why not eat healthy? And you're going to talk your whole life. So why not tell people about an opportunity uh, that can change their lives? So look at these girls now. And uh, I think that if I'm proud about anything, I'm proud about impacting their lives because they are now um, powerful, uh, independent, strong, confident, and financially independent. They don't ask money from their parents and they're not even 30 years old. At 30 years old, I was living with my parents and I was making 700 euros. And I did everything society asked of me, an A student, one of the best in my college. So apply the advice from your mentors, apply, because many times we ask our mentors what to do, but we don't do it. Uh, because they know why they're telling you something, even if you don't understand it now. And, you, and they say that knowledge is power. No, no, no. Only applied knowledge is power. I know many people who know it all and never do anything with it. So don't become a professional student. Apply everything. Try it out. Get the experience. And then you can share what works. Why do I say apply? what your mentors tell you. Um, so you saw my first active world team line, uh, which was done in one year part-time um, with the help of the system and my mentors, and of course me bringing people to events. But then one of my upline mentors, Nena Tomovic, also a millionaire team now, um, told me 
at an event, just briefly, he passed by and he said, Ivana, the people who got you to active world team will not get you to get team, get new people. And I took the advice and uh, I added one new first line and this was Miriana. And uh, this, were her, this was her sister that quit. And uh, I added another one, another first line. And with those two girls, they both became supervisors, active supervisors, world team, and um, started. Mirjana was a uh, top volume of Croatia, uh, went to Brioni. Uh, Ingrid was doing 5,000 volume points. So they were really great. And with those two, I got to, got, uh, to get team in uh, the next six months. So it was not by magic. It was doing what my mentor told me to do. And because I decided to do that, I attracted the right people. And um, decide to do what's necessary to be at the Herbalife trainings. If Herbalife is something you see your future, um, relevant for your future and set it as a priority if you want to um, accomplish great things. And I will give you an example. And uh, maybe it's uh, a bit radical, maybe not. But to me, it was logical. This is the picture from my first extravaganza at Barcelona. And uh, I was an English teacher. And you know how teachers are free during the summer. We don't work during the summer. And uh, when school starts in uh, September, well, you're not going to get a week off after being home for the whole summer. So I paid for the trip. I paid for the plane tickets. I paid for the event. And I, I decided I was going. And then I went to tell the principal that I was going, not to ask him if I could go. And he said, no. And um, I said, no, 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 no. You don't understand. I'm going. And um, we just need to figure out uh, how maybe you, I can be on sick leave or whatever, but I'm going. And he said, no, because something can happen to you while you're in Barcelona. How are we going to say you're on sick leave? And he, he would not hear of it. It was out of the question. And I said again, no, 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 I'm going. And we just need to figure out how it's going to happen. And he said, okay, then I'm going to have to fire you. And maybe when you come back, I'll give you a job back. And I said, okay, because then I was a supervisor, but I was making twice as much money as a supervisor than as a teacher. And I believed in myself and I believed in the company and I believed my mentors when they told me that I needed to be in Barcelona. So I don't know many people who would do that because I loved my job and I was only a supervisor and there were no guarantees that I was going to do anything big in Herbalife. But you need to believe in something. And when I came back from Barcelona, he uh, took me back. I didn't tell my mom. She figured it out later that I, I actually got fired for a week and then he took me back because there was a stop in my paycheck. There was something wrong with the paycheck. So that's how she figured it out. And I stayed in school for maybe another six months and then I quit. Uh, not because I, I respected the principal very much. He was the man who gave me the job when I was just starting and uh, when it was not so easy to get a teaching position in town. And I really respected him. And when I uh, quit my job, he wouldn't uh, let me quit for two weeks because he respected me and I respected him and he thought of me as a good teacher and he couldn't understand why I would quit a secure position the secure 700 euros that everybody was dreaming about security. And when I told him that I earn three times more as an active world team and that I have my freedom and that I'm traveling and that it's great, he asked me if he could come work for me. Seriously, he told me that he was an old man and he told me that he was not going to be able to be principal for long and that they were going to put him on a, on a teaching position and he didn't want to do that and he asked me if he could come work with me. Unfortunately, that didn't happen because he got sick, but I have the utmost respect for that, for that man because he gave me an opportunity and I was going to give him an opportunity. And uh, the moral behind the story is 
the decision that you make or don't make. Because if I hadn't gone to that extravaganza to Barcelona, who knows? Maybe I'd be teaching English right now. Maybe, who knows? And uh, be patient and persevere. And uh, the work ethic and the belief in people that you have and the belief in yourself always pays off in the end. These are my GET team. I am very, very proud of them. I love them very much. They're wonderful people and I can always count on them. And uh, I know there are many more to come who will become free and independent because of this opportunity. So let me just check my timing because I talk a lot. So there are the, the three key points to success. The first one, if you're just beginning, is to go for no. I know many people are afraid of what other person will say or think, but um, every successful person has, getting, has gotten many more no's than anyone who has quit and has to deal with the what ifs and the pain of regret. So no is not a problem. No is great because you don't, don't waste your time with people who are not looking for anything. There are people who are looking for something, looking for a change, looking for a prosperity, looking for opportunities. Those are our people that we want to work with. When someone says you, tells you no, that's fantastic. You're not going to waste your time with that person, but you're going to leave open doors because if they want to change something in the following year or years to come, they can come back to you because you have given them the opportunity. So go for no, as fast as possible, get as many no's as possible, so you get the immunity. So you don't care anymore when they tell you no. And that's awesome. I don't even register it when they tell me no. It's just next. Not because I don't care about people, but because they're not ready and I'm telling the next person. Uh, second point to success, stop caring what other people think. And this is maybe funny, maybe sad, but people are not thinking about you. People are thinking about themselves. They're very self-absorbed. So um, there's a saying that if you knew how little other people really think about you, you would be offended. And we make our decisions based on fear of what other people will think. And they don't think about us at all. They don't care if we are happy, unhappy, ill. Maybe your parents care and uh, three of your closest friends, but the rest, they're, think about, they're thinking about themselves. So when somebody says to me, like a new distributor and says, I'd rather work with people I don't know. Um, well, it tells me that that person has a strong fear of what other people uh, think and say. And um, that's something that can be um, very dangerous in network marketing and in business because um, you can't care. You simply can't because you need to be sure of what you're doing. So check your attitude on how good Herbalife is as nutrition because if you feel that it's the best, you won't care what someone says. And check your attitude on uh, the business opportunity because if you believe that it's the only opportunity that can get an ordinary person from zero to hero, then you won't fear what the other person has to say about it. You will have fear of missing out on sharing and impacting other people's lives. So, um, I ask my new distributor, those people whose opinions you fear, think about it, how do they live? Do they have time and money freedom? Are they happy? Are they relaxed? Do they have choices in life? Do they have positive environment? Do they have hope? If not, and most people don't, tell them about the opportunity, don't be selfish. Get yourself out of the picture because they don't know. If they knew, maybe they would join you. Or if they're negative, great. We're sending them a lot of love and uh, leaving open doors and moving on. And uh, the other question that I asked my new distributor is, uh, would you rather 
your friends, your family, your acquaintances be my customer and business partner because they find me on Instagram, on Facebook, because you didn't inform them of the, inform them of the possibilities, because you were afraid that they were going to think something of you or say no. Tell them because it happens. You can see your best man, or you can see your, um, I don't know, best friend from high school at an event, and you didn't invite them. And that's painful. I think that's more painful than getting a no. And the gold mine attitude, and that's um, something that I think is crucial. When uh, you talk to people about Herbalife, you need to have this in mind. If you find a gold mine, do you uh, put an ad in the newspaper and tell people you don't know that you found gold and that you can get really uh, wealthy together? Or do you run and tell your family, friends, and the people you love the most? So if you really think highly of Herbalife, you will not skip the people you know and like and trust. You will tell them first and then they can maybe join you later when they get the belief uh, from following what you do. Now, um, I don't know how much time I get. Daya, what do you think? Should I hurry up? So basically you have five minutes. Five minutes, okay, I'll do my best. Okay, so first goal, get to supervisor level. If you're not a supervisor, your mentor has a plan for you and uh, always, Whatever you do in network marketing, do it with duplication in mind because everything duplicates. Why? Uh, when you're a good customer, you can inspire people and you can have customers. So your first task is to be a great customer to yourself, to have a great result. And then you can make your retail profit. When you are a member and you're all members, you know how to help somebody become a member. So start building your wholesale profit. When you get to supervisor, you can help other people become supervisors and start building your royalty income. Whatever you do, you can teach someone. And when you have enough supervisors, like maybe 10 or so, you can become active world team, three lines, or, or 20 or so, you can become get team, and then you can start getting your bonus checks. So you have very simple things to do, to be a good customer, to teach people how to become customers, how to become members like you, and to get the supervisor as soon as possible and help others do the same, of course, if they want to. So... You are, if you are decisive and you go to trainings and you have guests and you are more likely to attract similar people and get to your desired next levels faster. And that's why I say duplication is everything because in this business, you are the only one standing in your, in your way because you see that someone is going slower, someone is going faster and that's really okay because we don't start from the same point in life. But um, you are the one standing in your way or making it go faster. So I will skip this and uh, leave you with this because uh, too many people expect uh, great results in a short amount of time and it just doesn't work like that. Nothing big can be accomplished overnight. So commit for a minimum of one year. I went to college for six years to get a 700 euros paycheck. So please, um, one year minimum to see all the events, to try to qualify to um, uh, uh, bigger sections and to bigger trainings so you can get the real idea of what your life can be like if you decide to take full advantage of this opportunity. And uh, when you become a supervisor, ask your mentor about a 90-day game plan. It can change your life. So... Never compare yourself to anybody because what we do is not fair. We compare our weaknesses with other people's strengths. That's what we do when we compare with other people. So don't do it. It's human to want to grow, but enjoy the process. And uh, you are the only one who can um, learn the lessons and grow through difficulties and uh, set your pace. And uh, we have a perfect platform where unlimited progress is possible. So the pace of your progress is not that important. Enjoy the process. And the worst thing you can have is a closed mind. 
So uh, learn Jim Rohn, Mark Hughes, Napoleon Hill, Eric Worre, apply. Don't be a professional student and enjoy the journey to your best self and to time and money freedom. And what I will leave you with is this incredible couple that I myself have learned so much from. They are a great inspiration. They're one of the best in the region, great leaders, great um, role models for everything in life. Uh, the people that they are and uh, the business that they have built and uh, the quantity of people that they have uh, affected, the lives that are affected and how much all of us have learned from them. So uh, it's a real honor to learn from them. And uh, I'm a bit jealous that I won't be at this training. So take a lot of notes, make sure that you're there and that you apply what they say. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you for your attention and um, kisses from Rieka. Love you all. Wow, what a story. Thank you very much, Ivana. It was really, really amazing. Uh, if you can make me just um, a host, to, to be a host back, just write Yaka Yuvan and make me um, as a host back so I can share my presentation uh, with you. Of so, course, dear. There you are. Amazing. It was really Thank amazing. Thank you very much. Um, basically, uh, what, uh, let me just check. Uh, yes, I am the host. So right now we cannot uh, give you like a special gift uh, because of the situation. And maybe next time um, we will invite you that you come here in Malta to be special guest here. Uh, but what is very, very beautiful, uh, we can give you like a big, big, big applause. So that's why uh, I will unmute right now you guys and uh, try to make noise as much as possible. Let's give like the biggest applause ever to our very, very, very special guest. So three, two, one. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Uh, so you saw, guys, uh, what is possible if you stay, if you don't quit. So Ivana is the perfect example and her team as well. So thank you one more time uh, for your time. Uh, guys, right now it's time to make team photo. One more time, uh, turn on your camera. So let's make one group photo. As uh, let me just just stop the the sharing so I can put the view like that. So guys, turn on your camera, put the biggest smile on your face. Let me see you. You are still with us. Super energetic, great. So I hope the the story of Ivana was amazing to you because I was like Mamma Mia, what she is thinking about. So guys, put a smile on your face. Yaka is here with us. So three. Two, one, and well done. Let me just go to another screen. So three, two, one, smile. Amazing. So guys, this was it for today. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you love your event. Share with your mentors how was, uh, share with your mentors which value uh, you have from today and wish you a lovely Saturday. Ivana, thank you one more time for your appreciated time. Kisses to all of you and see you guys on next event. Bye.